Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about the lean localization asset. This is it right here, lean localization, Carl's Wilkes. And I have talked about this before, but we're specifically going to be talking about CSV, which is comma separated values. Let's just get started. If we open up this English text, these two will not be here. It will just be hello English. This is just the way of being able to to translate between languages or to change the languages with the click of a button. So you can see these languages change. I'm going to show you how you could do that. Now this, if you want to go to this scene right here, all you would have to do is download the lean localization. You will get a plugins folder. If you don't have one already, just click on plugins, CW, lean localization, examples, and click on the 09 CSV and you will get this scene right here. Now we are going to be adding a language. We're going to add a Portuguese language so we're just gonna duplicate this right here and add Portuguese to it and we will move this button over and increase this width since Portuguese is a sort of a long word and we will add text and we'll just add Portuguese now on the button itself we have to change on the on click we have to change the language to the one we want which is Portuguese for this we will add a subtitle so we'll just go right click add the subtitle and we will lower this a bit we will from hello english we will take a uh, take away that new line so it's just one line we will also increase this width and probably just shrink the font a bit and now what we're gonna have to do is create this list right here now i have already a list of two words because i did record this video before but for some reason it didn't get the whole video it only got like 40 seconds of it that's why we have these right here i'm actually going to change this to something different just so we could see it being added to the list so i'm just going to put new subtitle now if we go here we don't see that in the list and we also have to add a lean language csv but before that we're going to go to the lean localization and we're going to add a language so we're going to add portuguese and we get this right here and we're also going to add the lean language csv so we're going to duplicate that we're going to change the name to portuguese and right here we have a source before i show you the source we're going to change the language right here to portuguese now the source it's going to be text files so we're just going to duplicate this and rename it to portuguese and if you would like to edit this like in a another program like excel all you got to do is click show and explorer right click on the one you want to edit and then open with and then you could either choose another app or you could just use the ones that are shown and then let's say you choose another app you could choose an app on your pc if you do not see it in these options right here me personally i'm just going to edit this in visual studio and we will start editing it i'm going to grab this hello english text and i'm going to use google translate for this and i'm going to swap languages translation we will change it we'll put portuguese and then instead of hello english we're gonna put hello portuguese we'll copy it and we'll paste it in the portuguese text and then we will do the sub what well, we're gonna actually erase this we're gonna put new subtitle make sure there's no extra lines and as you can see that all of these are like that because like i said i had made a video earlier about it it's just it did not record so let me fix this real quick we're gonna put the name of our text which is new subtitle same for the english one we'll save it and now for the new subtitle we're gonna translate all of these we'll copy and paste it and the rest should be already translated because like i said i did it earlier but this would be it another thing to mention so if you do get an error it might be because you have a space between the comma and the actual translation so make sure you do not have a comma and also make sure that they are in these double quotes now let's just go back to unity and we will go to the new subtitle and right here where it says title we'll go down actually where it says the lean language csv we'll hit load now and as you can see it says title new subtitle and just make sure it says it for all the ones so now it's it don't say that you could also just put load now instead of clear and then loading again so just load now and load now or you could go through all of them and just hit load now and it should work so let's double check and it looks like it does and then right here on the new subtitle actual text go down to lean localized text component go on the list and there's the new subtitle so now there's our subtitle which is a little too big so let's just shrink this down and we will hit play and everything if everything went right it should start working so now there's english spanish japanese and portuguese didn't work so let's go to the portuguese button make sure everything's good portuguese work oh right here on our source add the portuguese text source so now 
everything should work after I hit this load now button. Let's try it one last time. So English, Spanish, Japanese, and Portuguese. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. All you gotta remember to do is add your language right here. You would have to add, and it will add one of these for you when you add your language. You have to add lean language CSV and it, depending on what language you want. Make sure that your text source file matches your language. You There is a format where you could either do comma or semicolon. Uh, there's legacy, but I'm not sure what legacy would be. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the old way of doing it. I just don't know how it is. And then click on your list right here of languages. Select your correct language for this CSV. Hit load now and then add your your text. So if you wanted to add a different text, just add a different text. Add this lean localized text. And then once you have all your, your text documents down here, once you have it all set up, there should be automatically a list that populates for you after you hit the load now. And then just remember to put your for your button which language it's gonna be. So for the English button, you know, type in English, Spanish, Spanish, all that. And that should be it. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see future videos. Once again, thank you guys.